Gerard, what's it feel like in that locker room right now? Uh, everybody's just down and they out competing yesterday. Um, it seemed like everybody was bothered with the weather instead of just playing the game. Did you get a sense during the game that people were talking about the weather? Was that noticeable? Uh, for first half, everybody came out excited. It was just the second half. Uh, it was a different. It wasn't that excitement. Uh, you know, we came out in the first half. What caused you guys to struggle in the red zone, especially early on, the first half of possession? Um, just um, I have no clue. They just out competed us. How did you feel like that maybe kind of set the tone for the game, not you know the catching on the route doing it? Uh, not really. It was, it was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, running backs didn't get the call from the quarterback. Oh, Ryman didn't get the call. Just a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, some of the, you know, some of the fumbles and some of the you know, missed catches was because of nerves uh, for the first game. Not totally turning around. I'd say just because because of the weather. You know, everybody wasn't used to it. The gloves slippery. You just took the gloves off. In retrospect, is there was there anything that before the game maybe would have indicated to you that the team wasn't. Uh, ready to outcompete a team or wasn't taking them seriously? As no, moment. not really. I mean, everybody was really excited. We came out flat second half, and they just came out, you know, ready to play. The the way you guys started out with so many run plays, the first the first series is that something that's different this year, or is that just a consequence of the weather and the fact that it was hard to throw the ball? Yeah, it was nothing really different. It was just uh, uh, like the, what they defense was what they gave us. They gave us a run box, so we ran the ball. Really giving you different, different looks from the second half. Um. Yeah. No. It was. You know. It, it'll go uh, hand in hand. I really. One more for Gerard. As the game went on and they were staying in it, did you get the sense that they were feeding off that and maybe you guys <laughs> were reacting poorly to not being able to put uh, an FCS team away? Yeah. Um. Second half, like they just came out hot, you know, and then once they start going, uh, start scoring and everything, the team just got hot and we, we just couldn't stop them. Thanks, Gerard. Questions for Gunnar Eklund. Go cool. Gunnar, was there kind of a point where panic maybe started to set in or you guys started to realize we got a fight on our hands? Uh, I wouldn't say panic, you know, but uh, we just have to do our jobs and do, uh, do what we do to our capabilities. No matter who we play, you know, all credits to them for playing hard, <coughs> but we can't lose to a team. We can't, we can't lose anymore. Yeah. Can't lose. So I mean, we have to do what we do, not not worry about what they do. Gunnar, what are the uh, what are the seniors saying in the locker room to their teammates right now? Uh, you know, it's just uh, it's just no more. It's over. That what, what just happened is over, and we're, it, no more. We're putting our foot down. We can't lose. We have to do what we have to do to 